This is the FNI RSI DMT99 rechargeable auto ranging digital multimeter. The company did send me this product for review, but everything I say in this video is my own opinion. It's pretty nice looking packaging right here. Everything's all nice and packed away in styrofoam. And inside the package, you're going to get the meter itself, the instructions, the test leads, which are about three foot long, and you get a type c charging cable because this is a rechargeable device and you can see you charge it right here on the top this light lights up red while it's charging and when it's done charging the light goes out just going over the meter real quick super lightweight fits good in your hand on the back we got a couple of clips here so if you want to quickly store the probes away and keep them from running off on you you can do that it's got a little hole in the back if you want to hang it up on something hang it on a nail on the wall or something and it's got a kickstand on it just so you know that just to show you too, it also comes with the caps for both ends of the probe. You want to power it on, you press the power button right here. This is a 9,999 count true root mean square meter. TRMS instruments tend to be more accurate than the RMS when it comes to measuring AC current. As you can see, it has a 2.4 inch full color thin film transistor display on it, which makes it easier to see for an older guy like me. And you can actually choose between one of two screen options. I like this yellow one because it's easier for me to read. But you can go to the settings right here. If you press the auto button, hold it down, brings you into the settings. And if we go to the system settings, we can change it between theme one and theme two. Theme one's a blue. The, the writing's a little bit smaller. I, you know, I just prefer theme one myself. There are a couple different ways to use this meter, and they're all pretty simple. You can use the intelligent auto mode, which I have it on now. That's going to work on some of the functions, but not all of them, obviously. If you're testing an outlet, for example, it's going to default to voltage more than likely. So if you wanted another type of reading like Hertz, for example, you would just press the button to bring up that screen. Super easy. Now I'll run you through some of the options here. I just want to show you it actually has a temperature on here, which you can change in the settings between Celsius and Fahrenheit. It measures AC, which you saw me do there. It also measures DC voltage. Test this battery. There we go. 1.5 volts. Exactly what it's supposed to be. And it also tests AC current and DC current. And on the current side, it has dual ceramic fuse protection for the 1 amp and the 10 amp slots. It can be used to test resistance. And that's exactly right. This is usually around 6. Strat pickup. It can be used to check capacitance. Here we got Les Paul Stratocaster. So let's check this right. It should be about 22. It's at 23 nanofarads. It's within range, 10%. And this should be 47. And it is at 47 nanofarads. Exactly what I wanted. It can be used to check continuity. Right here, I've got the, the ground and the ground and the tip and the tip. So let's test the tip side here. See if there's continuity. Yep. And now we test the ground. Just like that. You can also use the continuity to check to see if a fuse is good. Now I know I've got a connection from end to end. Same one here. Perfect. Can also be used to check a diode. It also has non-contact voltage on here. Kind of acts sort of like a stud finder. You've got this point right here, which is the non-contact voltage center. So let's say you want to do test an outlet or run this up a wall looking for a live wire. And you just run it up there. It tells you you got live voltage right there. You can also test for live wires by using only the red probe. You just set it to the live wire setting, which is this line right here. Plug the red probe in and we'll stick this into the hot. There you go. Showed you a little bit of this before, but if you press and hold the auto menu button, you get into the settings right here. It has three different types of modes on here. Regular mode, recording mode, and monitoring mode. There are definite advantages to each one. I probably won't be using the monitor or recording mode as much as I will the standard mode because I'm just using this around the house and for uh, stuff like guitar work. But if maybe you're a mechanic or a technician that needs this option. It's, it's right here on this unit. The standard mode is just standard like we were using it before, just like a normal multimeter. If you arrow over and go into the recording mode, press enter, back out, this meter can plot like measured values and the fluctuation of the voltage or current over time can be observed. You know, you just, you just press the center button right here and it will store up to eight different values. You can see them populating right there and the yellow is obviously the last one we just recorded. And we go into monitor mode, back into the settings. Let's say you want to do monitor voltage, you know, to make sure it doesn't cross over a certain threshold or go under a certain threshold. When this arrived, it was preset to 220, but I've went over here and I changed it to 110 just to show you what happens. Got the threshold set at 110, and this is obviously 120 volt right here. This is obviously 120 volts, so I just wanted to show you what this alarm sounds like once it goes over its threshold. 
So you can see it sets the little alarm off to let you know there's a problem. If we go down through here, you can see the history of our measurements. There's different system settings. Like I showed you before, you can change the theme. You can also change the temperature unit here, the brightness of the screen, and you can change the auto shutdown. I, I put it on five minutes just in case I walk away. So there you go. This is a great little lightweight handheld meter. I love that it's rechargeable. It's one of my favorite options. This meter would be great to have around for, you know, everyday home repairs, obviously. Automotive work for electricians. Great for electronics work, too, because these tips on here are really fine. I like that. There you go. Very nice.